Welcome back to the Pat Long Codes YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at using Flask and Google Colab. Um, and we're going to be using the include tag for a basic example of how you might use uh, Ginger templating uh, in Flask. So first, I just want to uh, show you myself for Google Colab and how easy it is to navigate there. So you can just uh, Google um, Google Colab, and uh, you'll be there right away. Um, and this is the Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab. Um, you can open an existing no uh, notebook or uh, or create a new one. Uh, you just have to sign in with a Google account to uh, do that. So here I am in my uh, Jupyter Notebook and Google Colab. Uh, the code I'm going to be using is uh, linked in the description below. So um, in this first part, I just set up two directories. And then scrolling down past these other examples, which are also linked in another video in the description below. Now I'm just going to uh, load up uh, what I'm calling navbar.html. Uh, that's all this HTML code. I'm not going to type it out. I've already typed it out. It's just uh, like a, a basic navigation bar at the top uh, of the page. And the purpose is that I'm going to, uh, you know, end up... Uh, well, first off, I'm going to test what this looks like. Uh, I'm using Flask and looking at a public URL in Flask and Grok um, just to see what it looks like. And then... Um, after I, after I've tested that out, I'm also going to then uh, use the include tag uh, using Ginger templating uh, to load it into another um, template. And so in in this basic example, uh, again, I'm run, I'm going to run with Angrook. Um, so I can look at it a public URL, uh, not just on the local host. Um, I also have a another video on an introduction to uh, uh, an introductory example that's uh, linked in the description below, uh, where I use Flask and Angrook. So yeah, I'm just uh, taking the uh, navbar.html, and then we'll we'll go make sure this looks the way we want it. So yeah, here it is. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically all I wanted to check, and I can just stop it. And now let's continue on, and we'll we'll look at um, creating another HTML file. Uh, I'm going to call this HTML file include. Um, and here I'm just going to use the include tag. Um, also linked to description in the description below is a link to Ginger templating um, uh, documentation where you can see all the other different things. We're just really scratching the surface here with an include, and so basically I'm including the navbar.html and then then uh, I'm adding a body tag in HTML and just uh putting in what inside the body tag whatever I want to put in there and this one I'm just saying you know this is a child template uh you know for um from uh navbar.html um and and that's it I'm just making a reproducible example and this is also going to go in our templates directory one of those two directories I uh created um as a first step in the in this uh in this um Jupyter notebook So yeah, now I'm, uh, now I'm thinking I'm all set to um, 
write this file to the template directory and uh, so now we can uh, press on to uh, it's, a, it's a bit redundant that I'm doing the pip install um, flask and grok again um, I just generally do that in each um, section of the Jupyter notebook um, chances are you're not going to run this part unless you ran the uh, first bit. So yeah, the this uh, little section of code is going to look very similar to the one above and I'm just going to use the render template method again um, in uh, my own uh, user-defined function. And so this time, we, you know, we're going to be... Um, using render template method to um, to show uh, the um, include.html uh, file that we just created um, where we use the um, where we use the include tag um, So you could run uh, multiple uh, functions here. So, so this is where it might be useful, where you have, uh, you know, well, new, many, many pages where they all use the same nav bar. And that's really the purpose of why we're doing this example is that you could have, you know, 20 pages that are just using that same nav bar HTML using the um, include tag. So, yeah, here you go. Uh, now I've got the nav bar .html, um and I've also got the um, little bit of code I added there, which says this is a child template. So yeah, essentially that's it. That's all we were trying to do in this example. Um, so just to wrap up, yeah, we just did a basic example of how to use the uh, include tag. Um, in Flask um, to make certain aspects of a page very uh, usable on other pages. And uh, hopefully you found that as a useful demonstration. I do plan to make uh, subsequent uh, Ginger templating videos um, on this channel. So uh, stay tuned for those. And uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.